Peacher, Oklahoma. Peacher is a ghost town and former city in Ottawa County, Oklahoma, United States. This was a major national center of lead and zinc mining at the heart of Tri-State Mining District. More than a century of unrestricted subsurface excavation dangerously undermined most of Peacher's town buildings and left giant piles of toxic metal contaminant mine tailings, known as chat, heaped throughout the area. The discovery of the cave-in risks, groundwater contamination, and health effects associated with the chat piles and subsurface shafts resulted in the site being included in 1980 in the Tar Creek Superfund site by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. The state collaborated on mitigation and remediation measures, but a 1996 study found that 34% of the children in Peacher suffered from lead poisoning due to these environmental effects, which could result in lifelong neurological problems. Eventually the EPA and the state of Oklahoma agreed to a mandatory evacuation and buyout of the entire township. The similarly contaminated satellite towns of Trees, Kansas, and Cardan, Oklahoma were included in the Tar Creek Superfund site. A 2006 Army Corps of Engineers study showed 86% of Peacher's buildings, including the town school, were badly undermined and subject to collapse at any time. The destruction of 150 homes by an EF4 tornado in May 2008 accelerated the exodus. On September 1, 2009, the state of Oklahoma officially disincorporated the city of Peacher, which ceased official operations on that day. The population plummeted from 1,640 at the 2000 census to 20 at the 2010 census. As of January 2011, only six homes and one business remain their owners having refused to leave at any price. Except for some historic structures, the rest of the town's buildings were scheduled to be demolished by the end of the year. One of the last buildings, which had housed the former Peacher Mining Museum was destroyed by arson in April 2015. However, its historical archives and artifacts had already been shipped elsewhere by that point. Peacher is among a small number of locations in the world, such as Gilman, Colorado, Centralia, Pennsylvania, and Whitnum. Western Australia, to be evacuated and declared uninhabitable due to environmental and health damage caused by the mines the town once serviced. The closest towns to Peacher, other than nearby Carden, Trees, and Dalpit, are Commerce, Guapa, the headquarters of the nation by that name, and Miami, Oklahoma. In 1913, as the Tri State District expanded, Lead and zinc ore were discovered on Harry Crawfish's claim and mining began. A town site developed overnight around the new workings and was named Peacher in honor of O.S. Peacher, owner of Peacher Lead Company. The city was incorporated in 1918, and by 1920, Peacher had a population of 9,726. Peak population occurred in 1926 with 14,252 residents and was followed by a gradual decline due to the decrease in mining activity leaving Peacher with only 2,553 by 1960. The Peacher area became the most productive lead zinc mining field in the Tri-State District, producing over $20 billion worth of ore between 1917 and 1947. More than 50% of the lead and zinc metal used during World War I were produced by the Peacher District. At its peak more than 14,000 miners worked the mines and another 4,000 worked in mining services. Many workers commuted by an extensive trolley system from as far away as Joplin and Carthage, Missouri. Mining ceased in 1967 and water pumping from the mines ceased. The contaminated water from some 14,000 abandoned mine shafts, 70 million tons of mine tailings, and 36 million tons of mill sand and sludge remained as a huge environmental cleanup problem. As a result of national legislation to identify and remediate such environmentally hazardous sites, in 1980 the area was designated as part of the Tar Creek Superfund site. While some remediation took place in the following quarter century, contamination and other environmental hazards were found to be so severe that the government decided to close Peacher and relocate its residents, as reported on April 24, 2006, by Reuters. Due in large part to the removal of large amounts of subsurface material during mining operations, many of the city's structures have been deemed in imminent danger of caving in. The city's pharmacist, Gary Linderman, was featured in the May 28, 2007, issue of People magazine in the Heroes Among Us article, Prescription for Kindness. He vowed to stay as long as there was anyone left who needed him and to be the last one out of the city. Linderman, the only remaining resident of Peacher, died on June 6, 2015, at age 60 after a sudden illness. On May 10, 2008, Peacher was struck by an EF4 tornado. There were eight confirmed deaths possibly including one child, 
and many other people injured. The tornado first touched down near the Kansas Oklahoma border in Oklahoma, southwest of Chitopa, Kansas, and tracked eastward. It struck Peacher, causing extensive damage to 20 blocks of the city, with houses and businesses destroyed or flattened. The damage in Peacher was rated at EF4. At least 150 people were injured in Peacher alone. The tornado continued eastward, passing just north of Guapa and Peoria before crossing Interstate 44 into Missouri. Given the existing plan to vacate the city, the federal government decided against aid to rebuild homes, and the buyouts continued as previously scheduled, with people being assisted in relocation. Oklahoma Governor Brad Henry sent National Guard troops as well as emergency personnel to assist the hardest hit area in Peasure. Loss of power from the tornado forced the city to go on a boiled water notice. Staff from the Oklahoma Rural Water Association arrived to assist, since the utility's testing equipment was destroyed by the storm. With an emergency generator to supply power, rural water staff had the system running normally only two days after the tornado struck. In April 2009, residents voted 55 to 6 to dissolve the Peacher Carden School District. It graduated its final class of 11 in May. By 2009, the district's enrollment had dropped to a total of 49 students from approximately 343 students years prior. Remaining students were assigned to attend Commerce and Quapaw School Districts. The city's post office was scheduled to close in July 2009, and the city ceased operations as a municipality on September 1, 2009. By June 29, 2009, all of the residents had been given federal checks to enable them to relocate from Peasier permanently. The city is considered to be too toxic to be habitable. On the last day, all the final residents met at the school auditorium to say goodbye. As of November 2010, it was reported that Peasier still had one business and six occupied houses. The government carried out a similar relocation program for residents of the adjacent city of Trees, Kansas. On October 29, 2009, Congress voted to allow the EPA to fund the relocation of the remaining citizens of Trees. Starting in January 2011, almost all remaining commercial structures were scheduled to be demolished. Gary Linderman, owner of the Old Miners Pharmacy, said he would stay until the last resident left. By March 2014, standing abandoned buildings included the Peacher Carden High School building, a Christian church, the Mining Museum, and a handful of mercantile buildings, as well as numerous abandoned houses. The municipality of Peacher was officially dissolved on November 26, 2013. The Peacher Mining Field Museum, which had been housed in the former Tri-State Zinc and Lee Ore Producers Association building, was destroyed by arson in April 2015. The museum archives had previously been sent to Pittsburgh State University, and other artifacts had been sent to the Baxter Springs, Kansas Heritage Center, and Museum. In March 2017 the often photographed Christian Church, which was originally a one-room schoolhouse, was also destroyed by fire. The final resident, Gary Linderman, owner of the Old Miner Pharmacy, died on June 9, 2015, at the age of 60 from a sudden illness, which officially made Picara Ghost Town and brought its population to zero. Peacher is located at 36.982824. It is north of Miami, the county seat. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city had a total area of, all of it land. As of the census of 2000, there were 1,640 people, 621 households, and 417 families residing in the city. The population density was 734.0 people per square mile, 283.9 per square kilometer. There were 708 housing units at an average density of 316.9 per square mile, 122.6 per square kilometer. The racial makeup of the city was 77.13% white, 13.78% Native American, 0.18% Pacific Islander, 0.12% Asian, 0.06% from other races, and 8.72% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 1.40% of the population. There were 621 households out of which 30.9% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 50.6% were married couples living together, 12.4% had a female householder with no husband present, and 32.7% were non-families. 29.1% of all households were made up of individuals and 14.0% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. 
the average household size was 2.58 and the average family size was 3.20. In the city the population was spread out with 27.1% under the age of 18, 9.1% from 18 to 24, 24.0% from 25 to 44, 23.5% from 45 to 64, and 16.2% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 37 years. For every 100 females, there were 95.2 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 90.0 males. The median income for a household in the city was $19,722, and the median income for a family was $25,950. Males had a median income of $22,321 versus $15,947 for females. The per capita income for the city was $10,938. About 21.1% of families and 25.4% of the population were below the poverty line, including 27.4% of those under age 18 and 30.9% of those age 65 or over. Peter was featured in the PBS independent lens film The Creek Runs Red, which discussed the connection of the people and their desire to leave or stay in the city. Peter was also featured in the Jump the Fence Productions film titled Tar Creek, 2009. The film was written, directed, and narrated by Matt Myers. Peter was featured in an episode of On the History Channel. The aforementioned tornado was also featured on an episode of the Weather Channel's Storm Stories. Peter was also featured in the premiere episode of Forgotten Planet, Abandoned America on the Discovery Channel, along with Pripyat, Ukraine in a story of two cities abandoned due to industrial disasters. In April 2015, Peter was featured in a segment on the National Geographic channel called The Watch, in which one of a handful of holdouts still resides and watches over what is left of the town. In April, 2018, traveling YouTube personalities Adam the Woo and Jacob the Carpetbagger drove through Peter during their joint tour of Historic Route 66. Police investigating the Welch, Oklahoma murders of Danny and Kathy Freeman and the kidnappings of Ashley Freeman and Laura Bible filed charges containing statements from numerous witnesses and alleged accomplices who stated they had heard rumors that Ashley Freeman and Laura Bible were in a pit or mine shaft in Peacher, or had been threatened by Warren Philip Welch, lead suspect in the crimes, who told them they would end up in a pit in Peacher like those two girls. Their bodies have never been found. Though suspected accomplice Ronnie Dean Busick was arrested in April 2018 for his involvement in the crimes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.